God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. The nations are in an uproar, the kingdoms totter, God utters God's voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. We greet you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ and welcome you here to First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Columbus, Ohio. We are glad that you join us wherever you are this day as together we wrestle with a tragic assault on our nation's capital this past Wednesday, and on the elected and career federal officials. We know many are outraged and traumatized and facing many emotions as you join us this morning. We mourn the loss of life and blood spilled in our nation's capital. Today we grieve for our country and continue to pray for the security and safety and ultimately the healing of our nation. We stand here this morning also to denounce the violence and intentions of groups and individuals who sought to do harm to elected officials and government employees. We are outraged by the signs and the banners using Jesus' name and how they led the insurrection against our government. Let us be clear. The invocation of Jesus' name in the context of violent and lawless political partisanship is antithetical to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus is not an addendum to our political loyalties or in partnership with idolatrous allegiances. Brandishing the name of God in this way does damage to the witness of the gospel. You shall have no other gods before God, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. The presence of evil is palpable. We denounce the words and actions of the President of the United States and those who work to lead the insurrection against our nation's democracy. Today in worship, we will remember and renew our baptismal vows as they call us to renounce and resist the powers of evil. When we resist the powers of evil, we rise from the waters of baptism to new life in Jesus Christ, and we are sent forth into the world to witness to the love and justice offered to us in Christ Jesus. No matter who you are or where you are on your journey of faith, you are welcome here. In the days and weeks and months ahead, we will come together as a community of faith to live into our baptismal vows. You can find more information about First Church, including today's worship materials on the worship page of our website at www.first-church.org. I am the Reverend Dr. Tim Ahrens, Senior Minister. I am Reverend Emily Krauss Corzine, Associate Minister. We are joined in our live stream worship this morning by Minister of Music, Kevin Jones, Director of Christian Education, Mark Williams, our choral soloist, Melissa Lawson, and church volunteer, Peter Murray, and uh, workers, employees of Demer AV, assisting in our worship this morning. Today, we use our new live stream technology. We also are joined by John Delaman, who is our liturgist. Although we are not worshiping together in the same space, God's Spirit continues to draw us into community as together we seek comfort, guidance, and holy purpose for our lives during these challenging times. People of God, let us turn our hearts toward the sacred. Let's lean into the beauty of worship. Let's lend our voices to prayer and song and let's support each other and lean on each other as we journey through this time. Let us worship God. <laughs> 